But the, the thing that's really distressed me is what's happening in Russia to my fellow actors and actresses and performers and writers and, and, and critics. They are told under pain of high treason that they cannot say a word about Ukraine. And I think that is pretty awful. And I think we should all stand together and also for those people, the people in Russia who don't like what's going on, and particularly the artists. And I think we should really join in celebrating them and hoping that they can actually make a shift, as I believe they can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, it's a, it's a shame that, that, that somehow we think we've come so far in the world and it's just, a, it's just evidence of one country trying to dominate another one to expand their border, threaten people. There's going to be women and children and men and lives shattered and cut short for what? For this border that people are clearly wanting to identify as their own country. And there's no reason that those two countries can't have a, a wonderful relationship and flourish someday. The morning of your your big day in Hollywood sort of thing, you're going to get all dressed up and you're reading about such incredible courage and suffering uh, and brutality. Um, it's very difficult, but, and I was thinking about that today and, and I thought, you know what, all you can do is carry on the best you possibly can and we just have to do what we do and then when we've done this, then we can put our minds back to how we help the Ukrainian people. That's why I'm, I painted my nails tonight um, yeah I think I think we all should kind of remember that they're in our hearts and it's yeah such a it's very very sad thing so yeah